You know, my dad, my dad was actually born in India. Came to South Africa for better opportunities. This was during apartheid. Ah, crap was India, bro. Okay, we're going to send you to a place where you have no freedom of movement, no freedom of choice, you don't have the vote, and if you protest, you're subject to imprisonment or even killed. <gasps> that sounds amazing. <laughs> the Indians back in the day had to deal with their very own CIA, you know, called the Kuli Immigration Agency. Is that true? That was our official title, the Kuli Immigration Agency. That's hectic. That's like having the DBI, the Darkie Bureau of Investigation. <laughs> and what happened was when the group areas that came and they moved like some of the people out all over the place, right? Sometimes the Indians didn't want to move because they were in the colored areas. They didn't want to move because they had businesses there. So instead of moving out, all the Indian person did was change the name from Karjika to Jacobs. <laughs> they pretended to be colored. And it was very, very difficult for them because they needed to unlearn their Indianness. They needed to learn how to nod their heads forwards. Because otherwise they would have been found out. The CIA agent would be like, okay, okay, uh, Mr. Jacobs, is, 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 is that your name, Mr. Jacobs? <laughs> okay, okay, Mr. Jacobs, uh, so you were born in South Africa, you lived here your whole life? Okay, I think everything seems to be fine. Okay, thank you. Aha! <laughs> okay, damn it, I'll go to an Asia, damn it. <laughs>